You're just a sexist. You're just a racist and a homophobe. And you don't like the character because you hate strong women. You think they should be barefoot in the kitchen cooking you dinner. And you're just jealous. That's why you're saying these things. Um, this is one of uh, many, many non-arguments I encounter on a daily basis. Um, this one I tend to call an emotional straw man or uh, what it really is, is a, a false motivation. And what you do is instead of engaging with somebody's comments, criticisms, or their claims, you instead create a motivation for them saying those claims, for making those claims, for making their argument that is objectionable to in some sense. So you say that you're only making these claims because you're a racist, or this is a racist argument. Um, you're only saying these things because you don't like women. Um, so as soon as you evoke a, a negative thought pattern, racism, sexism, now the person who made the claim, all of a sudden they feel a need to defend themselves and go on the defensive and say, no, wait, I'm not a racist. I'm not a homophobe. I'm not these other things. And um, if, if the person does that, then this, the sophist device has worked. Uh, you have won the, the game of sophistry by doing that. Um, it's very, very effective. And a lot of people are unaware that, that that's the case. But creating false motivation is not an argument. It's the opposite of an argument. It is a piece of sophistry. So watch out for it. Don't engage with it. Uh, demand that people engage your claims and your criticisms and your um, your points of view and your evidence. Do not allow people to just uh, call you a racist and then say that they have won an argument by making somebody get on the defensive on race or sex or anything else. Uh, none of that matters. Just try to stick to the arguments at hand. Thank you so much for watching and have a great, great day.